Hi, my name is Julia Morley, and I am going to discuss the Electron framework and how to build apps using Electron and React concurrently. So while you may not know what Electron does, you've actually already been introduced. I'm sure that you recognize some of these apps, such as Atom, Slack, and Visual Studio Code. Any guess what they all have in common? That's right, they're all built using Electron. So lots of new Electron apps are being created every day, and many of these are built with React because they work very nicely together. So here's an overview of the topics we're covering today. We'll discuss how to set up and implement Electron, including the layout of an Electron app, integrating with React, and then moving on to a quick demo. So what is Electron? Electron is a relatively new library developed by GitHub for Atom.io that enables developers to leverage the power of web technologies and use cross-platform desktop applications with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Essentially, while Electron apps look like desktop apps, under the hood, they are actually web pages. So why is this significant? Well, desktop applications for each operating system are written in each one's native language. But because Electron is cross-platforms, it allows developers to code just once, making our lives way easier, hence the confetti. So <laughs> Electron is handy when you're looking to develop apps that have full access to system resources, not just a web connection and some browser. Um, so if you were building a note-taking app, for example, you may want to persist files to and read files from the user's file system. So is it magic? Not quite, but close. Electron is a packaging together of Chromium and Node.js, Chromium being Chrome's, uh, Google Chrome's open source library, with uh, various pre-built integrations into native platforms, which you can build, uh, which you can use to build a um, great experience for your users. And how does it work? Well, Electron has two different types of processes, main and renderer. So the main process is the entry point to every Electron app. It controls the app's lifecycle from open to close. It also calls the native elements and the renderer process in the app. And here's the main process. It's generally a main JS file. It's responsible for creating and managing browser window instances and various application events. So each browser window instance runs the uh, Windows renderer process. Sorry, runs the, the web page in its own renderer process. And your app's entry point will point to a JavaScript file that will be executed in the main process and a subset of Electron APIs are available in the main process as well as in Node.js modules. And, uh, and here's the renderer process. So um, it's generally set up in an index.html file and it's responsible for running the user interface of our app. So, uh, you can think of renderer processes as being akin to tabs in a web browser. So for example, if you have Chrome open and you close a tab, the browser, which is like the main process, will continue running and each tab works independently from each other. So Electron APIs. Another important thing to know about the main and renderer processes in Electron is that different APIs are available in different processes. And the key, this is key to remember when you're designing the overall architecture of your app and deciding where responsibilities lie. Uh, so this Venn diagram shows the Electron APIs available in each process type. You can also see that Node.js's APIs are available globally, while the uh, DOM and browser APIs are available only in a render. And communication is key in life and in Electron. So Electron uses inter-process communication, IPC, to communicate between the main and renderer processes, and this is a general flow of how that occurs. And Electron hearts React. So as I know that you are all well aware, React.js is a great front-end JavaScript framework that simplifies action and data, data management and lets you focus more on building your UI. 
And because Electron essentially runs a browser environment, we can use any browser-friendly browser node modules to render our application. So these are the general steps to create an Electron React app. Um, it's very basic. We're using Babel and Webpack here to compile our JSX and create a bundle.js file. And just remember to specify main in your package.json as the main entry point for your app. And let's talk about the browser window. So to review the, the very simplest uh, things we need to know to create a basic main.js file, first we require in Electron, create an app from Electron, which will control the application lifecycle, and bring in browser window, which will create the native browser window. And then in a function called create window, we create the main window by setting an instance of the browser window to the window. And then you can set a width and height, and inside of the function, we need to call two methods, window.loadURL, which will load the index.html of the page, and another method, window.onclosed, which is called when the main window is closed. So to continue discussing the main.js methods, there's also app on ready, which is called when Electron has finished initialization and it's ready to create the browser windows. App dot on window all, all closed is exactly how it sounds. It will quit the Electron app when all of the windows are closed. App dot on activate will recreate a window in the app when the Electron icon is clicked and no other windows are open. And the index.html file renders the main page of the app, as we discussed previously. So let's make an Electron React app. I recorded a quick demo to show you guys the very bare bones uh, React app. So let's click play on this. So here's our package.json, where we're specifying main. Here's our main.js file. And uh, also our app CSS, just to give it some very basic styling, and our app.js component pulling in React. And uh, there are tons of boilerplates available if you're interested in getting a quick start on making your own apps. As you can see, this is very bare bones, but as our app says, this is a simple application, but consider the possibilities. Uh, remember, Atom, Visual Studio Code, all of these are built using Electron, so very useful. Uh, so some final thoughts. Electron and open source tools give you everything you need to create a compelling desktop app. Native user interface elements like menus, oh, sorry, I just lost my screen. Oh, like uh, menus and dialogues, installers, auto updates, and more. Electron has a multi-process architecture. So the main process creates web pages by creating browser window instances manages application life cycle events, and so forth. And the simple demo that we covered uses Electron for the front end framework and React.js for the JavaScript library. And there's tons of great resources for Electron, even though it is such a new framework because it's really useful. So for further reading, the Electron docs are an excellent resource, and the apps and blog section are great ways to learn about New Electron apps, the community section has lots of tools, boilerplates, and even meetup events from Electron's awesome open source contributors. Uh, Spectron is an Electron testing library, and DevTron is an Electron debugging tool. And if you want to get started right away on making your own desktop app, GitHub has a great quick start tutorial to get everything started. Um, so thank you very much. I hope that this was informative, and I hope it inspired you to start creating your own desktop apps using React. <laughs>